Hey everyone, it's Lisa Mears here, and today I'm going to be making 12 cards using the brand new Doodlebug Design Over the Rainbow collection. Doodlebug Designs always has such cute collections, and I love all of the bright rainbow colors that they have in many of their collections, this one included. So these are the products that I'm working with today. There are so many more products in the collection, but I chose to use the 6x6 paper pad. So I'll flip through this quickly so you can see all of the different designs. This collection has lots of rainbows. There are three leaf clovers, lots of flowers. There are gnomes, there's ladybugs and mushrooms. So their paper pad has 24 sheets. They're all double-sided and you get two of each design. There's also a 12 by 12 paper collection that has all of the same designs just at a larger scale so if you like the 12 by 12 papers you can always pick up the 12 by 12 paper pad so this paper pad also has in addition to the prints there are also some little cut aparts that have sentiments on them so those are great for card making and the sentiments can be used for so many different types of cards such as birthday cards wishing you well cards thank you cards so there's all different kinds in this pad here's some more rainbows and diagonal stripes then we have some clouds and some dots here's another sheet of the cut apart sentiments and they're so super cute they have a cute picture as well as the sentiment now I didn't use a lot of these sentiments in my cards because I did pick up some die cut pieces that I'm going to be using for sentiments as well as decorating my cards but you can totally take this paper pad and you can use this paper pad along with the cut aparts in here to make cards by just using the 6x6 paper pad and nothing else that is totally doable but I also picked up some other things I'm going to show you the 12 by 12 paper that I did pick up this is the over the rainbow petite print assortment there are 12 sheets they are double-sided and they come in the colors of the paper pad so they coordinate and they have the greens and you can see there's some flowers there's also some buffalo plaid prints as well as polka dots so I like to use these when I need some solid color papers to complement the busy patterns you can see that these papers are more subtle they're not so busy and you can totally use them for layering pieces to put your busy patterns on top of because all of these pieces match the same colors that are in their 6x6 paper pad so you don't have to worry about going to hunt for cardstock to see if you have the same colors or not because Doodlebug does it for you by having these packs available to purchase so you can see all the designs that are included and you get the pinks the yellows the greens the blues the orange as well as the reds and I will have links to all of the products that I use today in the description box of this video and on my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com. And I will also link to the entire collection so you can see all of the products that are included in this collection. I also picked up the Puffy Icon stickers. This is a large sheet of stickers. There's actually 138 stickers on this sheet. And I thought these would be great to add to little scenes for my cards. You can see there's little gnomes. There's also some flowers and rainbows and clouds and ladybugs and a lot more. And finally, I also picked up the Odds and Ends and the Chit Chat collection. So the Odds and Ends are the little characters that you can use to create scenes on your cards. So here's what all of them look like. There's actually 128 die cut pieces in this set. Some of the die cut pieces are pretty large. You can see there's a mushroom house and a little tree house. There are some hot air balloons with some gnomes. There's several different kinds of rainbows. There are also several different sizes of the gnomes. There's some boy gnomes and there's some girl gnomes and they also come in different colors. There are also some snails, there's flowers, there are some critters, you've got some butterflies. There are also some clouds, you've got some 
blue clouds, white clouds, there's a sun, and there's still so many other pieces. But let's go ahead and move on to the Chit Chat collection. Now the Chit Chat collection is the collection of words. So you can use these words for sentiments on your cards, or if you're using the collection for scrapbooking, there are also some scrapbooking words that you can use in here as well. And this package contains 82 die cut pieces, and they're all not even fitting on my screen, but I'm gonna bring some close here so you can see. Now, not all of them will go for card making, but a lot of them do. So you can see, like you can say, happy spring, family and memories, that's more for scrapbooking. You've got the word sunshine and hello. Here's another rainbow, and this one says, you make me happy when skies are gray. There's also a thinking of you sentiment. It's a rainbow kind of day, and there are all kinds of little banner sentiments that you can use for your cards. So thank you for brightening my day. You are my sunshine. You're the sweetest. You warm my heart. Make a wish. So you can use these for all kinds of cards, from birthdays to thank yous, just thinking about you cards to hello cards. So many different options. So I made 12 cards with this collection, but there is so much more included that you can make a ton more cards. So let's get started with card one. So for my first card, I cut two pieces of paper out of some scallop rectangle dies. One of them is a solid piece of pink cardstock from my stash, and the polka dotted one is from the 12 by 12 paper pad. I also have a piece of the flower pattern paper that I cut down to five and three eighths by four and an eighth, and I'm adding that to a piece of pink cardstock that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'll layer those two layers together, and then I'm going to create a scene. So I love creating scenes on my cards and I'm going to create many scene cards today using all of these die cut shapes. So here I'm adding the flowers to the bottom of the card and then I'm going to stick in underneath the large flower piece. I'll stick in some of the individual flowers behind it as well as the bunny and I'm also going to use the sentiment that is the speech bubble that says hi. And I'm also going to be bringing in the snails a yellow one and a blue one. I do end up cutting off the bottoms of the flowers just because they're a little bit long and I wanted to stick them behind the large flower and by cutting off the bottoms it just helped the flowers fit more easily behind the large one. So I'll go ahead and finish gluing all of these pieces down and then I'm going to add that layer to an A2 size card base. So this card measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I'm going to grab these little mini stickers and I'm going to add some of the hearts onto my card and that will complete my first card. Moving on to card two, I have a piece of this flower paper. This measures four and an eighth by one and seven eighths. I added it to the bottom of the orange with the white polka dot paper and that one is cut down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I added the large rainbow that has the sentiment on it from the chit chat pack, but I'm adding the sun behind it. So I added the rainbow, didn't glue it all the way down. It left some room there underneath so I can stick that sun behind it. And then I'm gonna add the large word happy right underneath the rainbow. I'm also going to add a butterfly right above the word happy. And then I'm going to bring in the sticker sheet and I'll add three flowers onto the word happy. And I'll add that entire layer to an A2 size white card base. And that will complete my second card. For my next card, I have a piece of this border strip. I cut this from the strip of borders from the six by six paper pad. And I'll add the border to the bottom of the blue with the white polka dot paper. So that paper measures five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And my border is the same width as that blue polka dot paper. I'm gonna bring in the large word lucky and I'm going to add that so that it's positioned right at the top edge of the border. And I'm gonna have the rainbow tucked behind it at the top right corner of the card. 
I'm going to add the gnome on top of the L and part of the U. So it's going to look like he's standing on top of those letters. And I'm also going to use the sentiment lucky and blessed and I'm going to add this to my card. Now this sentiment is from the paper pad. If you recall there was a sheet from the 6x6 paper pad that had sentiments so I just cut this out of one of those uh, sentiment strips. So I'm going to add this to an A2 size white card base and then I'm going to finish up this card by adding a couple of the heart stickers from the sticker sheet and that will complete this card. Moving on to my next card and also some of the cards that I'm going to be using from this point on, I'm going to be bringing in this set of border dies. I love this set of border dies. It's from Sunny Studio Stamps and they are borders for slimline cards, but you can always cut them down to make smaller cards. But what I love about them is they come with two hillside borders, a grass border, a cloud border, as well as a border for the ocean. So I used the grass die to cut out some grass and I actually cut the die cut piece in half so I have two borders out of the one because remember it's a slimline border die. And then I also used the hillside border to cut a hill out of this flower pattern paper and I'm going to combine all of these borders to create an outdoor scene for my card. So I'm going to make it so that the flower border is between the two pieces of grass. So I'm adding one of the pieces of grass on top of the flower border and then I'm going to add the smaller piece of grass behind the flower border so you can see the three layers there. So I'll go ahead and put glue on that and then I'll add it to my card. The card layer that I'm adding it to is the teal checkerboard pattern paper which I cut to 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 1 eighth. So I'll add my borders to the bottom of that teal paper. And then I'm going to arrange all of my die cut pieces to make a little outdoor scene. And when I added glue to the back of those borders, I did not put glue all the way at the top of the grass just so that I can tuck some of the flowers and the ladybugs behind. So I have the word hello, but I decided to switch it out with the make a wish. I don't know, I just like that one a little bit better because it has a little bird on it and I can also use that for a birthday card if I wanted to. So I go ahead and add the sign and I'm going to go ahead and glue the flowers and all of the rest of the die cut pieces to my card. And I'm also going to take out the sticker sheet and I'll add some more of the little stickers to create more of a scene. So I'm just going to add some of the mushrooms. I'll add four mushrooms, actually five mushrooms, to my card. Next I'll add this entire layer to an A2 size card base. And that will complete my card. Moving on to my next card, I have a piece of cloud pattern paper. I cut to four and a half by three and a quarter and I'm going to add that on to the rainbow with the diagonal stripe paper and the diagonal stripe paper is five and a half by four and a quarter and then I'm going to arrange my rainbow and I have two of the clouds so I'll arrange that onto the card front. And by the way, just as a reminder, I do have a coordinating blog post that will have up close pictures of all of the cards that I make today, as well as measurements. And then all of the supplies will be listed there as well. I know a lot of you like when I provide the measurements of my cards. So if you don't quite get to write those down as you watch the video, you can head over to the blog and you can see them listed there. So I do add the sentiment that says happy birthday and I did get that from the paper pad and then I'm going to add that entire layer to an A2 size white card base and that will complete this card. For my next card I'm actually making a 4x4 note card. So I have several pieces of paper. I have the cloud paper that I cut to 3 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters. I'm adding that to the top of a solid piece of pink paper from my stash. The pink paper is 4x4 four four. and then I'm going to add the flower paper with the mushrooms and the ladybugs. I'm going to add that right at the bottom of the 4x4 four four pink paper and that pattern paper at the bottom is 3 and 7 eighths by one and a half. I'm going to add the large sentiment that says thinking of you and I'm going to add the rainbow behind it so it'll look like the rainbow is peeking out behind the flower garden. 
And this layer is going to go on a 4 by 4 note card. So I just took a piece of white cardstock, I cut it to 8 inches by 4 inches, and then I scored it at 4 inches. So I'll just go ahead and add that to my note card. And to finish up this card, I did add a cloud sticker to the rainbow, and I also added a ladybug right above the sentiment. For my next card, I'm going to be making a slimline card. I did cut out one of the hillside borders out of some of the green floral pattern paper, and I'm adding that to a piece of the pink polka dot paper. The pink paper measures 8 by 3 inches. I also used a scalloped slimline rectangle die to cut out the orange plaid paper, and I'm going to add the pink paper right on top. So for this card, I'm going to add all of these cute little pieces to make this little tractor. So I'm going to glue down all of those pieces, making sure that they're going in the same curve of the hill. So if the hill's curving downward, the little pieces are going to be curved downward as well. I think that adds for more interest onto the card. And I'm going to use a sentiment that says, let's celebrate. And this sentiment is from one of the little border strips from the six by six paper pad. I also bring in some stickers from the sticker pack. I'm going to add one of the little girl gnome heads, like it's peeking out of one of the baskets. I add some hearts to the rainbow and I also added a ladybug to the flowers. And then I'll go ahead and add this layer to a slimline card base. My slimline card base, measures eight and a half inches by three and a half inches. Moving on to my next card, I have a piece of the red heart pattern paper. I cut it to four by five and a quarter and I'm adding it to the diagonal stripe rainbow paper that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I also took the slimline cloud die, I die cut a piece of white cardstock and then cut that die in half and then I cut each one of the cloud borders so that they measure four inches wide and I'm going to add both of those clouds to the bottom of the card layer. So I'll start with one Add it, tuck it behind the one that's going to show in front, and then I'll add the second one, making sure that it's flush with the bottom of the red heart pattern paper. I'll take the hot air balloon and position it so that it looks like it's between the clouds. So I'm just going to tuck a little bit of the bottom of that hot air balloon so that it's behind the first cloud border. I added some foam to the back of the happy birthday sentiment to pop it up in front of the hot air balloon and I add it to the card. Next I'll add that layer to an A2 size white card base and that will complete my card. My next card is going to be a 5x7 card and I chose to make this a 5x7 card because the pieces of the die cuts that I'm going to be using are so large that I needed to use a larger card. So I have a piece of the pink floral paper that I cut to 5x7 and then I'm adding the rainbow pattern paper to the top part of that. The rainbow paper is 4 and 5 eighths by 6 inches and then I die cut a piece of grass and that's going at the bottom of the rainbow paper. The grass is four and five eighth inches wide so it's the same width as the rainbow paper and I'm going to add the sentiment that says gnome is where your heart is. When I cut my grass I made sure that I cut it large enough so that you can see some of the grass above the word gnome. So if you want it to look like mine, I don't know the exact measurement there, but just make sure that you cut it large enough to place so that it fits the entire height of the word gnome plus a little bit more. I added the tree so that it's sitting behind the grass and I also added some of the gnome stickers onto the tree so it kind of makes it look like they're peeking out. Maybe there's windows up there that they're peeking out of the windows and then I also added a little ladybug, I added a mushroom and I'm going to add a flower as well. And then I'll add this to a 5x7 white card base and that will complete this card. 
For my next card, I have a arch die that I used to die cut two arches. And then I have this little piece of grass. This was a leftover piece that I had from one of my cards. So I'm just gonna add it to the bottom of this arch piece. It's the smaller arch piece that I cut out with some pink floral pattern paper. And then I'm adding the grass to the bottom and I'll just snip off the ends just so that the grass is the same width as that arch. I also die cut a white arch which is a little bit larger than the pink one and I'll layer those two together. I also have a piece of flower pattern paper that I cut to four inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm going to add the wishing well tucked behind the grass on the arch. And then I'll go ahead and add the arch to the flower pattern paper. I added some foam behind the banner sentiment that says wishing you well and I'm adding that to the top of the card layer. I'm going to add a rainbow sticker above the wishing well and I'm also going to add some flowers in the grass. I'll add three flowers and I'm also going to add a ladybug. And then I'll finish up this card by adding it to a white card base and that will complete this card. For my next card, I am using a scallop frame die and I die cut that out of some solid red cardstock. I also die cut the frame out of the mushroom pattern paper because what happens is when you die cut the frame, it cuts out not only the frame but the inside rectangle. So by die cutting it, the frame out of two pieces of paper, I'm able to get the inside piece of the mushroom paper to fit perfectly inside the frame. So I'm adding the frame to my white card base. It's an A2 size card base. And then I'm going to add the mushroom paper directly inside. I did add a grass border die to the bottom of the mushroom paper before adding it to the frame. So now I'm ready to add my mushroom with the gnome. You can see how large this piece is. It takes up the good size of this A2 size card. So I add the mushroom with the gnome and then I'm going to use this sentiment strip. It says, love you no matter what, but it's a little bit large. So I'm going to cut it down. So I'm gonna cut the word love you out and then gnome and then matter and what. So I have four different pieces. I'm gonna use the love you on the front of the card and you can actually put this in the gnome's hand to make it look like he's holding a little sign that says love you, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna put it at the top left-hand corner. And then for the other pieces, I'm going to put them on the inside of the card. So of course I have to add some stickers. So I'm gonna add some of the small hearts to the inside circles. Since this card is about love, I figured adding hearts would be perfect. So I'll add all the different color hearts to the circles and then I'm gonna add some flowers and a ladybug to the grass. For my next card, I have a stitch border die from Pretty Pink Posh. I die cut this shamrock piece of pattern paper and I'm going to add it to the bottom of this polka dot pattern paper. The polka dot paper measures five and a quarter by four. And then I'm gonna add that to a piece of this Buffalo plaid red pattern paper, which measures five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to add my die cut pieces. I wanna have a mushroom house as well as a girl and boy gnome next to the house and then I'm gonna have my sentiment up at the top that says gnome sweet gnome. So I'll go ahead and glue all those pieces down and then I'll add some flowers as well as a ladybug sticker to the grassy area of the card. I will add this to an A2 size white card base and then that will complete my card. So I hope you liked all of my cards today. Remember to head over to my blog at lisamearsdesigns.com to see up close pictures of all of my cards as well as all supplies that I've used. There will be a coordinating blog post link in the description box of this YouTube video. I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know which card was your favorite. 
And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.